go phone holder. Now just me. So here's a 360 view. Um, so yeah, I made this fit for my Moto G phone. Um, so yeah, I'll be teaching you how to make this. And, uh, you can modify it for whatever phone you have. If you have an iPhone, you could, uh, do that. If you have, like, a smaller phone, then you can make it on a smaller base plate. I made mine on a, uh, 6x12, uh, so you can make yours on a 6x whatever. I just think it has to be a dimension of 6. So, yeah, I'm going to be breaking this apart and showing you how to make this. So first you're going to start with this. I made a 6x12 base plate. Like I said, you can make it yours, whatever. I put it two blocks high. The bottom one was a different color. And the top one would be a different color, too. And right in the middle right here, there's going to be a flat tray. That's going to be for, like, your home screen. So, like mine... Mine's that little home button, so I could just do that. If I'm gonna stand up like that, so I can do that. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah, by the way, I gave credits to the Lego How on making a tutorial on this. He made it his a 6x10. I modified in mine. Modified in mine. I modified mine to make it fit. So now you're gonna take this. It is a um 12 by 2 It's right here. Oh do this so basically you need to make this and then I forgot where I put these but I know that you're gonna put it right there so yeah oh yeah I remember I think <laughs> So I make this, so 1 by 12 with uh, 1 by 2s, well, 2 by 2s, I'm sorry. And so I did mine. I put a 1 by 3 right here, and I put a 2 by 2, put a 1 by 2, another 2 by 2, and another 1 by 3. And then for the top, I just covered this whole back part with a 1 by 12, 1 by 4, and 1 by 8. And then these two here, you're going to put 1 by 2s on there. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take two of these. It's over. It is a 2 by 4. I'm sorry. Uh, with a one by one, or one by two block, uh, on the right there. I'm gonna put a one by two right there. Do that for two of them. You're gonna put those right. Right here, 
and on the opposite side, right there. Now we're just going to take a regular 2x4, and then we all connect that. So now we're bringing back this, and we're going to put it on the back. Oh yeah, um, sorry guys, I screwed this up. Okay. Um, and take the part that we just made, we're gonna take that off. Um, so we're gonna do this. One second, guys. I am so sorry about this. I'll be right back. I'll put the time in the description of where to come back to this. Because I'm sure you don't want to look at the carpet. I'm sure you want to look at me. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, here, for, for some entertainment, I... on some music.
Okay, guys. Um, I'm back. I remember what I did wrong. And so let's. Try this again. So, now we're going to take a uh, two of these. One by fours with one by twos on them. I did mine in a different color. Just because you, I think you guys get the point. Uh, it's gonna be the same color. My two right there. Okay. Now we're gonna put that one stud before it comes off. So, strap one stud. And on top one two, and on top one two. So do that with the other side. And you should have this. And now take the part that we just built and put it on in the back. So you should have something that looks like that. Now here comes a tough part, at least for me. I'm going to take two of these. They are um, one by two. Take a one by two. Put a one by two on top of it. Put a one by two on top of it. Put a one by two on top of it. Put a one by two on top of it. Put it okay, you get the idea. Okay, um now we've got six one by twos lined up. Um I think these come in one piece in certain Lego sets. I'm not sure though. But whatever. So now we are going to make this. What this is is a two by twelve base plate or a flat piece. You can make this by however you want, just make sure that all the pieces connect because you don't want one of them hanging off. No, it's not going to go like that. That's what we have these for. Okay. So, what you're going to do is, on the second stud over, you're going to put a black 1x2 ramp. One stud over, and then do that on the other side. And then put two one by two flats two by two smooth and uh, I did mine that bottom color uh, and I don't know if you could see this but there are trays two one by two black trays and you're gonna put that right next to the